listen up guys check it out check it out um we've already done section 4.3 and we know all three forms we know standard form we know point slope form we know slope intercept form so we're going to go back to section 4.2 back then you only knew y equals mx plus b and they want you to write an equation that passes through the given point and has a given slope and they want you to write it in y equals mx plus b if you check the answer in the back the answers are in y equals mx plus b form so on number one it's really easy to write it in y equals mx plus b form because all you need is the slope and the y-intercept right so the slope is what on number one they give it to you three the slope is three uh, how about the b value on number one can't you just look at it and tell me the B value? Negative one is the B value. So since you know your M and your B, the answer number one is Y equals MX plus B, which in this case is minus one. There's your answer number one. And that's really easy to do. Now, back then, last week, when you actually did number four, they gave you a point and they gave you a slope and you did not know point slope form back then right so you were forced to use your x value your y value and your m value and plug it all into y equals mx plus b to find the b value so you could write your equation in y equals mx plus b form but now that we're smarter now that we know that third form that's called point slope you could actually plug it into point slope form and make it quicker y minus y1 equals m parenthesis x minus x1 close parenthesis so we could actually use this new knowledge to go back and do these uh this homework a lot faster right we could actually just plug it into our blank spots y minus blank spot equals blank spot times x minus blank spot and let's plug in our y1 value of 4 our m value of negative 3 and our x value of negative 5 and of course, change the minus minus to plus plus. Now, if you look at the back, they do not give you the answer like this. They don't, because they want it in slope intercept form. Since we are so good at changing equations, let's do that. How would you change this to slope intercept form? How would you do that? You want y by itself, you don't want parentheses. What are you gonna do? You first do like distribute. Distribute, yeah, so negative three times x, what is that? That's negative 3x, and then negative 3 times 5, that's 15. plus 15. Oh, yeah, negative 15. I'm sorry. Not positive 15, negative 15. So we have negative 3x minus 15. We have the equal sign. We have y. We have minus 4. It's almost in slope-intercept form. All you have to do is get rid of that minus 4, add four. adding 4 there, adding 4 over here. So your slope-intercept form equation is y equals negative 3x minus 11. Check the back, please. Is that right? Easy, right? Uh, so last week when we did this section, but it was a different, it was WSPM. Right now we're doing WSP. Last week we didn't know about point slope form. So we were kind of stuck with y equals mx plus b, which if you're really comfortable with that, you could do that. That's fine. But I say if they give you a point and a slope, you might as well just plug it into point slope and then change it to whatever form they want you to do. So let's jump around here. Um, Right here, I would just, I wouldn't use point slope form. I would use slope intercept. Why? Because you could count your slope from here to here. It goes down one, two, three, four. It goes over one, two, three, four. So down four over four, that would be negative four over four, which means that the slope is negative one. And if you know your B value, which you know your B value, it's five. You could easily write your equation in Y equals MX plus B. Y equals one X plus five. So sometimes it's awesome to use point slope form. Sometimes you don't need point slope form. If, if you could see the M and you could see the B, might as well use slope intercept. Down here, they give you two points, okay? And we need to find the slope first. So on number 13, I, I need to find the slope first by using the slope formula. And the slope formula is m equals 
y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Label them xy11, xy22. When you plug it in, do your division and subtractions first, then plug in y2, which is negative 4, y1, which is 0, x2, which is 5, x1, which is... Wait, did I do that wrong? I did that wrong. Uh, y2 is negative 4, y1 is negative 4, not 0. So y1 is also negative 4. Sorry about that. And then x2 is 5, x1 is 0. Minus minus changes to plus plus. We have 0 over 5. And what is 0 divided by 5? 0. So the slope is 0. Oh, yeah. That is weird. OK, so if your m is 0 and you know your b value, they give you your b value here, then you could write it in slope-intercept form y equals 0x minus 4 plus b, right? But the multiple choice answer or the answer in the back will be just y equals negative 4. They're not going to mess with 0x. That means that there is no x's. It was the exact same one, sorry. Um, let's go with one that we don't get 0. Let's try this one here. When we go for the slope, y2, y1, x2, x1, you have your x and your y, your x and your y. This is your first point. This is your second point. Let's plug in our y2 value, which is negative 6, our y1 value, which is 0, our x2, which is 1, our x1, which is negative 3, minus minus changes to plus plus. Our slope will be negative 6 over 4. And this one would be negative 3 over 2 when you reduce it. So there's your slope. Now, they do want us to write it in slope-intercept form, but what's the easiest form to write it in right now? If you have some points and you have a slope, what's the easiest form? Point slope. So you could go y minus y1 equals m times parenthesis x minus x1. So when you do this, use blank spots. Y minus blank spot equals blank spot times X minus blank spot. And you could use the X1, Y1. Sure, why not? Let's use that one. The Y1, 0. The uh, M value is negative 3 halves. Because we did the slope formula, we found out it was negative 3 halves. And the X1 value is negative 3. The minus minus changes the plus plus. So this is our point slope form equation, but that's not the answer because the instructions or the answer on the back of this particular worksheet is in slope intercept form. So we need to change this point slope to slope intercept. And slope intercept does not have parentheses. So let's distribute that negative 3 halves. So when you distribute the negative 3 halves, negative 3 halves times x is negative 3 halves x. When you distribute negative 3 halves times 3, that's negative 9 over 2. That's if you would have put the 3 over 1 and then multiplied 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 1 is 2. And the y is by itself. We have y equaling negative 3 halves x minus 9 halves. Believe it or not, that is your answer. Check in the back, please. So this was an example of us not going with just y equals mx plus b. We found the m. Once you have the m and you have some points, go with point slope and then change it to slope intercept form if you'd like. Anyways, I'm done. You guys have the answers to all these on the back side of this worksheet. If you don't want to use point slope, you don't have to. You could use slope intercept and stick with slope intercept, but point slope's great. Good luck. By the way, we have a test on this stuff this Friday.